In this short tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a simple logo in PaintShop Pro. Our company is called Homes for Sale, and the idea for the logo is a silhouette of a simple house shape with a stylized number that forms part of the chimney, and the word sale on the lower portion of the house. I'll start by creating a new document that is 6 inches by 6 inches. I'm going to change my units to inches, value of 6. I want to make sure that my resolution is 200 dpi and I'm going to select a transparent background. Simply click OK. Now to help with the accuracy and the positioning of objects, I'm going to go to my view menu. I'm going to go down to rulers, turn my rulers on, and then from the view menu I'm going to go down to grid. To make it easier to see my grid, I'm going to go up to the file menu down to Preferences, General Program Preferences, and I'm going to select Transparency and Shading. This gives me the ability to change the scheme of my transparency to solid white. I'll click OK. Back up to the View menu, go down to Snap to Grid, again View menu, Grid Guides and Snap Properties, and I'm going to set my grid to inches. I'll make it four per inch, both the horizontal and the vertical. I can also change the color if I wish, but I'm fine with the, the gray the way it is. I'll simply click OK. Now it's time to start to create the design. In PaintShop Pro, there's a number of different shapes that we can use. I'm going to select my preset shape, and in the drop down, You'll see I have a couple of options in here. I'm going to select this arrow. Left click and drag. This will allow me to create sort of a shape of a house. Let the mouse button go. Holding the shift key down, I can rotate this and that will constrain it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this to the center of my page. And I'm going to use the flood fill to change the color. I'm going to crop this a bit to make it a little bit more proportionate. Now I'm going to do a stylized number four. Under my shapes, I'm going to select rectangle. And here I can use my grid to help me line this up. With the pen tool selected, I'll draw my next object. And note that I'm using the grid to help line these up properly. I'll apply that. And now the final object is going to go in here. And there we have our stylized number four. And to finish this off, I'm going to add the word sale at the bottom. I'm going to come over to my layers palette and I'll create a new vector layer. Simply click OK to this. I'll select the text tool. I'll come over into the materials palette and I'm going to change the color to white. Clicking on my page, I'll type in the word sale. As this is a vector layer, this gives me the ability to resize this piece of text without losing quality whatsoever. I'll fit this in side to side. I'm going to stretch that a little bit. Now that my logo is complete, it's just a matter of saving it out. As I want to put this on a website, I'm going to go to the File menu, down to Export For, and I'm going to select PNG Optimizer. PNG will support the transparent background. I want to make sure that on the Transparency tab, I have Transparency selected. On 
my colors tab. I want 16.7 million colors. And now simply a matter of clicking on the OK button. And save. That brings us to the end of this short tutorial on creating a logo in PaintShop Pro. If you've found this tutorial on YouTube while searching for training content, be sure to head over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com for more equally informative videos.